And it's something that we wanted to do so that we could bring people from the industry in so that we can one, tell them what we're trying to provide for the students, but also make sure that we're meeting their needs as professionals so that we are doing everything that we can to produce quality employees for them in the future. It allows them to come into our shop and actually see what we do versus just going by what we say we do. Our PAC members come from all different fields. We, we deal with a lot of hospitals, HR, they're hiring, the recruiters are here. Every part of the medical fields here. The great thing is that we have a lot of different types of people that come to our PAC meetings. They represent a wide variety of, of opportunities. Oh my gosh, it's very beneficial. They're getting a great quality of student. They're getting to choose different things that the students need to learn. We have so many different organizations involved that we try to loop all of it into one package. So they're really hireable at any one of their offices. They have the full package. This is actually my first PAC meeting. Eric invited me to come in, become a member. I thought I'd had a lot of input. You know, it's been very informative. I feel like our opinion matters. I think the purpose is, A, to give feedback for some of the students that you guys have that get out into the field to let them know kind of what they're doing well and maybe where there's some voids. The reason I decided to be a PAC member was I think the biggest thing in our industry is education. Part of the reason to being in management to see kind of what the schools had available and what they were offering because that's going to play a role in my salon. I've been a member with the PAC meeting for about two years now. I had seen many changes in the, the curriculum getting those people through those coding portions and they've actually updated some of their curriculum to help with that and then obviously it's some the things that we talked about today, they're changing externships, they're changing testing, they're changing everything so that they can better help the student get to where they need to be. The only way to change things and to get better stylists and to get people more prepared for being a good stylist is to start here. This is it, you know, this is your foundation. I know that a lot of the feedback is from these meetings. When it's about their curriculum or about things that we want them to make sure that they're addressing, they're teaching the students, they're getting them more familiar with different things. It's almost instantaneous, I feel like. We leave and we're like, okay, they're gonna start doing that. It's pretty great. I think the relationship works both ways. I think it's a good relationship. I think it's a school that has a very good curriculum, passionate instructors. Uh, they do a good job of molding the students. To be a PAC member, to come in, know that your input's needed, wanted, and utilized, you can essentially build your own tech at <laughs> not at your expense. It's a great opportunity to help shape what they want. Even if you maybe hire one a year or you're not as involved, if you want them to come out at a certain level, if you want them to know certain things, this is the opportunity to provide that feedback. If you're not a teacher, you're not gonna come teach them the things, but you can tell the teachers what you'd like for them to know. So I think it's a great relationship and a great opportunity. The benefit of being a partner is that being able to shape those students, being able to see those students go from the beginning of the program to the end of the program and seeing how they evolve throughout the entire program and, and see how they change and being able to say, hey, I had a part in helping them change in that. And then being able to start employing them to get them into the workforce. It's a fantastic feeling to be able to, to help throughout the entire program.